active methylene compounds. So the compound having this methylene group, this is methylene group, this is a methylene group with two such powerful electron withdrawing group as if this methylene group is a sandwich between two electron withdrawing groups where X and Y are either ester or carbonyl compound or cyanide or nitro. So then this compound is called active methylene compound. So you can easily recognize whether the compound is active methylene compound or not. So you check few examples here the methylene group is present. This first one is acetyl acetone where methylene group is present in between two electron withdrawing groups ketones. Here next example is ethyl acetoacetate. Again methylene group is present in between two electron withdrawing groups ketone and ester. So because of this, these, these two are active methylene compound. Check here in our third example. Methylene group where two ester present or attached to this methylene group. So this is diethyl mannonate. It is again active methylene compound. Why we call it as active methylene compound that is discussed here under the heading activity. Now you focus more on the methylene group. This methylene group in all this compound is active. Active means what? Because of two electron withdrawing group, there is a minus I effect. And because of this minus I effect, these two protons are acidic proton. So if these two protons are acidic, we can remove this proton by using a base. That means we can perform acid base reaction to generate this kind of carbanion. This carbanion is stabilized by resonance. So because of this, because of two, two factors, because of minus I effect as well as resonance, this reaction is possible. That means these two protons are highly active. We can easily remove these two protons by using a base and convert this compound into carbanion. Because of this, this is called active methylene compound. So all these compounds, one, two, three compounds, are active methylene compound because we can easily produce carbanion from this compound by using a base. And you know very well, this carbanion is also called nucleophile. So you consider this nucleophile for other reactions that we are going to discuss afterward. But you try to understand why this, these compounds are called active methylene compound. Because of this active methylene group. Because of these active protons. This is also called carbon acid. Because this acid is generated from this carbon, it can produce carbanion. So this is a uh, activity of methylene com compound. Act now see, uh, when any compound having carbonyl group, we know that very well, it undergoes tautomerization. And that tautomerization is ketoenol tautomerization. You know very well, enol means having double bond as well as OH group. So this is enol form. Usually this enol form is less stable than the keto form. So in keto enol tautomerism, keto is more favorable part or more favorable structure than the enol. Now the same keto enol tautomerism is possible in case of all these active methylene compound because there is a carbonyl group. And again, if you show here ketoenol tautomerism, we know that the alpha hydrogen is required. This is alpha hydrogen because this is alpha carbon. Now, while writing in all form, you just have to remove this alpha hydrogen and put this bond between carbonyl carbon and the alpha carbon. 
and remove this bond or oxygen and join this hydrogen on oxygen. So you will get enol form. In all these forms, I mean in all these active compound, active methylene compound, enol form is more stable than the keto form. Why? Because once this compound is converted to the enol form, there is a intramolecular hydrogen bonding possible. And this hydrogen bonding is in between H of this OH and O of next carbonyl group. So this intramolecular hydrogen bonding actually stabilizes the enol form. And because of this, this is called stabilized enol form. This is most favorable form of all these active methylene compounds. That's it. Thank you.